All right, and finally, we are going to play Super Mario World. Now, I remember first seeing this game on commercial when it first came out, and I had thought it was Super Mario Bros. 4. But then I saw the rest of the commercial, and that's when I discovered this was a uh, well, Super Mario World for a new system, a 16-bit system called the Super Nintendo. And I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. I saw the giant bullet bill and and the graphics and how awesome the game looked, and I was like, whoa, I gotta freaking get this game. And I wanted a Super Nintendo so bad. And this game was definitely one of the games I really wanted to play real bad. And this is not one of my favorite games of all time, but it's definitely um, a game that I like. It is one of the greatest Mario games of all time. And I don't think, I think my person, to me personally, I like Mario 3. Uh, as far as the old school, like 8-bit and 16-bit Marios, I'm not to say my favorite might be Mario 3, maybe. But this game back then... I mean, I wanted to play this game so freaking bad, and I, I loved this game a lot back then. Around the time I first played the Super Nintendo. It's probably not the first Super Nintendo game I played. I know the first Super Nintendo game I've beaten was Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. As far as the first Super Nintendo game I played, it might have been this one. I'm not sure. But, anyway, finally we get to Mario World. A game that I do enjoy much better than the Lost Levels. And, uh, point of advice for all you noobs out there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and hit those just, uh, just because I feel like it. Uh, well, I read that and I still don't know how to do it. Alright, there we go. I remember a fundraiser that my elementary school did where we had to go around and get people to donate a dollar to a school PTA and uh, whoa I got 40 I think that's the highest you can get right there but anyway um, first place in donating uh, or getting enough money for the fundraiser school PTA got I think a new TV second place was a Super Nintendo third place I don't care but I was trying to get second place so bad just so I could get a Super Nintendo. I don't know if, if Mario World was included. Probably just a Super Nintendo that was it, but I didn't care. Back then, I wanted a Super Nintendo so bad. This is one of the games I wanted to play real bad. And, unfortunately, I did not win second place. I didn't win nothing. I only got maybe $2 donated. I couldn't find any cheap. Uh, all I found was cheap people didn't want to donate anything. It's just a dollar, people. But anyway, I finally got the Super Nintendo in 94. And I got this game and Mario Kart with it. I think I mentioned this in earlier in this series. I bought the I could have had the one with either F Zero in Mario World or Mario World with Mario Kart. And I chose Mario Kart because I like that game better. MacGyver! MacGyver! <laughs> For those of you who don't get it, uh Go to ytmnd.com and type in Super MacGyver World, and you'll get it. Um, but yeah, uh, here's the introduction to Yoshi. And of course, this is the game where Yoshi makes his debut. Okay, why you tell me just now to do the spin jump? Um, I did that in the previous stage. Why didn't you tell me just now? You're late for the advice there, buddy. I think Skip Rogers uh, puts his own his some advice in this game. More Skip Rogers advice. I did that in the previous level. I know how to do that now. Why didn't you tell me this in the first level? First level is where you're supposed to learn everything. Anyway, I still love this game. <laughs> And Yoshi is supposed to be a dragon? Okay, it's one heck of a friendly dragon. But anyway. Okay, one of these has a one up. Ah. Ah, oh, dang it, come on. There we go. Alright, get Master Yoshi. 
or Hermato Yoshi, whatever his name is. Ah, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I right, got it though. Jump on it! I oh, forget it. Get out of here, you sissy. Call yourself a dragon. More like a pansy dragon. Ha! <laughs> three now. Yeah, forget that advice box. I don't feel like getting all of them. And playing this right here really takes me back to when I borrowed this game or tried to play it over my friend's house because I couldn't get a Super Nintendo then. Now keep in mind the Super Nintendo came out in 91 or 92 and I didn't get, I finally did not own my own Super Nintendo until 94. So it was definitely a great moment to finally get that system without playing it, or without playing it over at other people's houses and have my own Mario World with Mario Kart. But this is about Mario World right here. Oh, oh, that was great, Roddy. Way to go, douchebag. got all the secrets or got to every single level in Mario World so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to beat the game and try to get through as many levels as I can as far as the secret levels or all the switches you know the yellow switch I just got the red switch I think the blue switch and the green switch is next and uh, I'm not going to do that in this let's play but I will try my best to beat it this game is easier than lost levels to me so maybe I'll actually beat this game unlike lost levels and I'm pretty sure I could have beaten it if I kept on trying, but I didn't feel like trying anymore. I really wanted to move on to Mario World. That was a waste of time trying to get the mu I didn't want to get the mushroom, really. That's what I wanted to get right here, the fire flower. Yeah, the fireball. Freaking pokey. Go back to Mario 2. Why didn't you tell me this in the first level? Why you tell me this in later levels? Man. Well, I've had Yoshi right here. I could eat pokey, but I don't, so we're going to have to evade him. Right, there we go. go down the pipe. Alright, dragon coins. Oh, good one. Whoa, 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 watch out for the spike balls. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Five dragon coins, get your extra man. Oh no, not the Mario 3 fish. Alright, good job. Here we go, Iggy's Castle. Just go in. Idiot. Press up on the control pad while jumping and the and you can climb to the fence. Let me finish reading it. Oh wait, I'm the one that pushed the button. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is a pretty cool feature right here. Never done this before in previous Mario games. This is pretty cool. I love the castle music in this game. It's much better than the castle songs in Mario 1, Lost Levels, and Mario 3. Not that they were bad, but this one really uh, pones them. One of Yoshi's friends is trapped in the castle, Iggy Koopa. Believe it or not, my ex girlfriend's nickname is Iggy. Yeah, watch out for this giant thing. Giant thing that will crush you, whatever it's called. Giant pillar. Whoa, look out. Almost got pwned. 
ECW style. Ah, uh, here we go. To fight Iggy Koopa. Yeah, this this boss man ain't that hard to me, but it's just uh, for some reason I have trouble getting him in the lava. Come on, it's embarrassing. I should be able to do it already. People laughing at me right now. And come on, there you go. All right. So world one is clear. And I rescue one of Yoshi's friends. So there you go. All right. Now to get ready for World Two, Donut Land. Okay, that was lame. 